Hey everyone, it's Gretchen here, Pick and Paws. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're off to the Goodwill to see what we can find. You know his name is Bob because that's all he can do in the water. I love you, Bob. I just walked into my Goodwill. First thing I see, all the angels. Someone got rid of their collection now. Let's see if it's gonna be sticker shock. Ooh, a dollar ninety-nine. That is not bad at all. Let me go ahead and pick a couple of these up. I see an August girl over here. Oh, she's three ninety-nine. You can see a little bit of her left and tag. So I'm gonna set these here and check them over. June, March, November, May, March, January, November, May, <laughs> March. So we see in November. And happy, oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday is $3.99 too. And then $3.99 for that little booger. Dollar ninety nine. Dollar ninety nine for that. Move it back here. Or a dollar uh, two four. Two four dollar ninety nine. Also see basket. Hmm. I decided not to get any of those angels. A couple of them were chipped. Those were the dollar ninety nine ones and three ninety nine. Um, they're the bisque, not the glazed. So I don't know. If it was worth it or not. Some old tins. 99 cents. Three dollars, now a dollar ninety nine. baby buggy she's cute for nine nine though Dennis and seals. I don't know if they're just all surface animals. Actually, that brand new, you know. Tag of the week is pink for half off. They look like they've never been used, so I think I'm gonna grab those. This is usually where I can find the older stuff. Instead of 10. $14.99 as is $3.99. $19.99. And these are four ninety nine, fourteen ninety nine. Check that out. Sneak around the boot. We gotta look at that. Handcrafted by Custom Creation Crafts. Different. Some light bulbs. 
That's Nerve, $1.99. Look at that duck, duck on a plane, $5.99. So there's some Halloween-y things out. I haven't found anything great yet, but I'm keeping my eyes peeled. Oh, there you go. Halloween fingernails. Angels up here. Love glass bulbs, five for a dollar ninety nine. It's just a little steep. These are a dollar ninety nine as well. For these snowman faces, yes. There is a box of gold. Mm. It's pretty bad shape. The scrapbook supplies. So there's a set of Homer Laughlin. 58 pieces, $59.99 in that pattern. Some plates, solid plates. Look at that old box. That there's no pencils in it. D dollar ninety nine has hinges on it. Ninety nine cents for that ten. Some baby shoes. Someone got rid of their planters, it looks like. $4.99. This one is a music box back here for $7.99. There's another shelf of tchotchkes up here. This is a fairly small Goodwill. It's my local Goodwill. As you can see, they're up to the times with the prices. But it's still fun to look at and sometimes if you look hard enough you can find a bargain see anything today so far I've got a set of denizen seals and these jumbo playing cards are still sealed but uh, 
I think I can probably, I'm guessing 10 to 15. Yikes. Some albums, not a lot. Tom Jones. They're just in here haphazard. Rainforest. By the way, that is 99 cents. I don't know if all the records are. Great songs at Christmas. Buck 99 for that one. Still sealed. Oh, there you go. Keep it. Be happy. Number two. One for $5.99 at Murphy's. Now it's a buck ninety nine. <laughs> that is so wrong. Oh my. I had to make that my thumbnail. There you go, Rex Humbert in the cathedral singing Hawaii. Oh my Kawaiza. This one may be for you, buck ninety nine. Do you have that one in your collection? You, I'll link his channel below um, if you haven't. He he is a magnificent uh, collector of music, and gosh, he knows his stuff. Hmm. I would also love to know if any of these are even worth anything. I do not collect the music. But, you know, old stuff comes in here in this Goodwill. Hank Williams. A tribute to Hank. For Buck Oh, Becker's not even in there. All you do is get the album cover. Okay, let me get moving on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Countdown America for 99 cents. We used to dig out Casey Kasem's countdown <laughs> out of the trash at the local radio station when we were kids. I didn't know. You know, as a child, you thought they did it like kind of live, but no. They were shipped the records and then they played them. The scrapbook. First edition. What what date is that? Not Trina, Pennsylvania. Scrapbook. A senator's best tribute to the dog. works. I know this can be worth some money, but I don't see a box. Oh my goodness, my granddaughter would love those for 99 cents. I'm going to have to get those. That's kind of cool back there. It's a calendar. Pretty sure it's newer. A rubber lion for $4.99. See, turkey place mats. These canning jars. 12 large jars, $9.99. It's canning season right now. So all the jars are out. There's the old um, plastic mask. $4.99. I don't know if that's Collegeville. 
That's all I see of it. Halloween bucket. 99 cents. 99 cents. Slack Kim and Co. Mint Chocolate, four ninety nine. Smells okay. Good burn on it. These will be the ones I think that you would find in Bath and Body Works or uh, White Barn, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not uh, positive on um, that information though. No. This is a light up guy. He is fifteen ninety nine. I don't know if he's worth anything. He's made out of um, like a rubber material. I'm gonna try to look him up on eBay. So I'll show you my haul real quick. First up, we do have Bob. Um, he is a 1993 Trendmasters foam head, and he does work. Um, I'll put the comp here next to me. Also, I got a set of jumbo playing cards now i thought these would be like 10 to 15 i've been kind of looking them up on ebay the only reason i got them because they are sealed and they do not have any bends or warping to them uh made in hong kong i would probably guess what the 80s early 80s and so i do plan to sell these as well i paid 2.99 i paid 15.99 for bob the zombie or the mummy head yeah also i picked these up for my granddaughter originally from uh dollar tree green bar international 2004 i will search the barcode before i give them to her because they are still sealed in the packs if they're like 10 15 dollars she probably won't be getting them and this was a last minute uh, as I was getting ready to pay. It's a set of cards. It says 20, 24 cards. I paid $2.99. I don't know if they're all in here, but I like the design. And as you can see, my Goodwill is getting in a lot of Halloween. So I'll have to start making frequent trips to see what they have. So it's uh, a card envelope set. Uh, I'm trying to read that. Papilo. Press. And then here's the envelopes. They are a uh, gold trimmed envelope. So those are for me, more, more than likely. I, I, I did not look them up. I may, but I got them, I got them for me, really. I'm trying to figure out what I got blue on my finger now. Um, my last item is these denison seals the circus animals they all have free written on them and then they do have the price tag on the back 75 cents um kind of stinks that they were free but I, I don't think that would be an issue on ebay but if anybody knows how to possibly remove that i don't know if i could take like a dry erase marker and then erase it or not or i might just keep them there's just that's to tell you there's a set of 12. Most of them appear to be full, if not completely full. I paid $4.99 for the booklet, uh, the set. So that was a nice find. Uh, too bad they were not Halloween or Christmas, or I'd be sitting on a gold mine right now. But these are the circus animals. Still cute, though. And uh, that's it. That is my Goodwill haul. So thanks for joining me, and take care.